this video, let's talk about the difference between advice with a C and advise with an S. This is a question that a student asked me and I'm so glad they did because there's a huge difference between these two, but it's very easy to remember them. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural, English speaker. Now before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now let's dive in with this video. Today let's talk about the difference between advice and advise. Now there are two huge differences between these two words. The first one being the part of speech. Advice with a C is a noun, and advise with an S is a verb. So they have the same meaning. They're both used to talk about recommendations or opinions on the best course of action. But how they're used, because one's a noun and one's a verb, is very different. So let's take a look at the noun, advice. Here's an example sentence. Can I give you some advice? Can I give you some advice? Now here, notice that advice is singular. Advice is always singular. It never takes a plural form. That's one of the most common mistakes I see in the comments section is a lot of students say, thanks Jennifer for the advices. That doesn't exist as a word in English, okay? So get that out of your vocabulary right now and remember that it's always singular. It can still take a plural possessive, like some, some advice. Can I give you some advice? Now, because this is always singular, we do have an expression to identify that it's just one, and that's by using a piece of advice. A piece of advice. We use this because a piece of is what shows you that it's just one, okay? Because we, we don't know. When I say thanks for the advice, it could be one or it could be more than one because advice never takes a plural form. So to get around that, we use a piece of. So I might say, can I give you a piece of advice? And that lets you know I have one thing to say to you. Now, otherwise, if I wanna identify that as plural, remember I used some. Can I give you some advice? Now I'm going to say two or more things to you. So that's advice. Now let's talk about advise. Advise with an S is a verb, like I already said. Now as a verb is going to come after the subject. So I could say the lawyer advised the client. Now remember, as a verb is going to be conjugated. So here is conjugated in the past simple. The lawyer advised the client. Now, thinking about this advice, notice I just switched to the noun form. The noun form, it's a thing. So imagine advice as a physical thing. So the advice the lawyer gave the client, okay? So thinking about the advice the lawyer gave the client, the client could say, we were advised to take the deal. We were advised to take the deal. So here I'm conjugating it in the passive form. So just remember that advise is a verb and it's going to be conjugated. So you'll see it in different forms. So that's the first major difference is how they're used in parts of speech. To summarize, advice with a C is a noun, always singular, and advised with an S is a verb. It's conjugated with the subject and the time reference. Now, the other major difference, maybe you already noticed it, I hope you did, but it's the pronunciation. The pronunciation is very different. And there's only one thing that changes in the pronunciation. Do you know what that is? 
It's the sound of the C and the sound of the S. Okay, that's it. So both of these are stressed on the second syllable. Advice, advise. Advice, advise. Advice, advise. So the second syllable is the one you hear louder and longer. But let's take a look at the noun. Advice. So notice that C is being pronounced as an S. S, 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 advice. S, it ends on the S, advice. S. Now, what about advise? Z, 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 our verb. Our verb is pronounced as a Z, Z. So the difference is that our vocal cords are engaged and it's a stressed sound. So you can think of it more as a Z sound. Advise, Z, Z, Z. So you have to get your vocal cords engaged. So the difference between a S, Z, S, Z. The S is at my lips, it's unvoiced. The Z, the Z is in my throat. My vocal cords are engaged, it's voiced. Advice, advise. Advice, advise. So the pronunciation is very different. So now you know the difference between advice and advise and you can use them confidently in your speech. So now you have to practice. I want you to leave two sentences in the comments below. Of course, one with advice and one with advise. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforceenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, awesome job. Now you know the difference between advice and advise, and you've also fixed another problem. You're not going to put an S on advice. You're not going to say thank you for the advices because that doesn't exist in English. So you just improved your English a lot. Woohoo! And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.